it's Sarah Finn and today I'm going to show you how to focus stack macro images in Photoshop. So let me show you why we need it and what it is. Okay. So anyone who has used a macro lens uh, knows that as soon as your subject is within the range of your lens, your biggest problem is getting it in focus. Most of the time, out of focus is nearly impossible, and manual focus is just really an exercise in frustration. A macro lens is designed to be very precise in taking uh, photos very close to the subject. When you're that close, any minor itsy bitsy movement will result in you losing the focus. And even if you manage to get the focus, it's really often that you don't have enough details in focus or that the depth of field is too shallow. So uh, have a look at these photos. So uh, this photo makes use of a shallow DOF and the flower in the front is in focus, but the rest is just a colorful display of bokeh. And here is another photo, and again the focus is at the center of the flower, but have a look here, here, here. It's, it's not in focus. So that's okay, a photographer's perfect picture is not necessarily an exact replica of what our eyes can see. These two are really beautiful photos. There's nothing wrong with showing the world we capture not as it is, but rather as an idealized version of reality. So a blurry image can be very beautiful too, but if you desire to show the subject vividly, realistic in all the details, and but still maintaining this artistic and dramatic bokeh effect, that's when you need focus stacking. So what is focus stacking? And focus stacking is a technique in photography that combines multiple frames with different focus points into a single photo. And we do this because we want to gain a better depth of field or increase our focus range. And focus stacking is, starts by taking multiple frames of your subject, and in each frame you change the focus just a little bit. So there are lots of ways to do this. You can use a dedicated focus rail on top of a tripod or simply a tripod, or even you can do just handheld. If you are using a focus rail, you can do this by uh, setting your camera to manual focus, then select the area of the subject you want to focus on, manually focus on that area, take some photos repetitively, and then without changing your camera setting, move forwards or backward to gain focus on another area, then start taking photos again. If you are using a tripod without a focus rail, you can use out of focus, but you have to be very careful in shifting your focus. Make sure that every time you change it, it stays close to the last position, the focus point, so that there's enough overlap and then the post-processing software can stitch them together seamlessly. You don't want big gapes where there's no focus. So here are the pictures that we'll be using. And so let's get started post-processing. Okay, so go to File, Scripts, and then Load Files to the Stack. And just browse until you get yours. Okay, make sure you click this here. Click OK. And what this is going to do is it's going to align them and it's going to stack them into, uh, stack them over each other in layers. And this may take a while, so I'm going to speed up the video here. Okay, so it's done. For the next step, I'm going to select everything. Okay. Go to Edit, and then Auto Blend Layers. Stack images, make sure these two are selected. Click OK. And this is going to take some time too. <laughs> Lots of waiting. Uh, so I'm going to speed up the video here. Okay, so it's done, and now uh, you can see there's a little problem here. It's blurry, and this is because something went wrong in the blending or uh, information or something like that. And anyway, the way you can solve this is going to a frame that has this information. And um, since I've done this before and I've checked all these frames before, I know which frame has this information, but if you don't know, it's, it's a, sort of a time-consuming process. You just check each frame and see if they have this. And so uh, once you've found that frame, you can, uh, actually I can just drag that up, but um, it's sort of messy, so 
I'm going to copy it here, and pull it all the way up, make sure it's above the merged folder, and then delete the layer mask. Okay. Delete. All right. Okay, so, and now make a new layer mask by going to Alt, and then clicking Layer Mask, and this makes a black layer mask so nothing's visible. And then go to Brush, and make sure you're painting in white and that the flow is low. You don't want to, flow is low. <laughs> You don't want to uh, overdo this. Okay. And just slowly brush over it. And here we can see that it's really starting to clear up. Okay. Alright. This is getting very clear. And I think it's good enough. Okay, so. Now, Control shift alt e Alright, and so this is our, uh, it's completely done with focus stacking now, and you can go on to do whatever post-processing you want to do. In my case, I'm going to go to Filter, I'm going to go to Camera Raw Filter. Okay, so in this filter, I'm going to raise the temperature, it's too cold. Just a little bit, just a little bit. And I'm also going to raise the exposure because from here you can see that it's too dark. Just, oh, just a wee bit. And then, mm, no. Oh yeah, just remove chromatic aberration just so we don't have any of these fringes. Okay. And I don't really see anything else to do, so I'm just going to click OK. And now I think I'm going to go to hues and saturation yeah and if you click this here you can just select the color and just drag it up it's really neat one. All right. okay so control shift alt e to see the total result and this is what we have so that's it for today thanks for watching and i'll see you next time